Hey guys, so today we are going to be creating uh, that main sound that I just showed you uh, from this little demo thing that I made. Um, so this is a sound that's frequently used in Melbourne Bounce or Melbourne Shuffle. Um, to me it sounds kind of vocally, vocal, crispy, combey, sawtooth sound. So let's just go ahead and start making it. So first things first, you're going to want to create a combinator. Um, let me go to my rack. So to go to your create menu, utilities, and combinator. And on this combinator, make sure that it's in its initial patch by just right clicking on it and clicking reset device. Now inside this uh, combinator, we're going to create a Thor. And we are going to make sure that both one and two oscillators are enabled to this low pass ladder filter. We're going to bring the frequency all the way up. We're going to create an oscillator to one more analog synth. And we're going to leave both as sawtooths, but we're going to bring the second octave up to five. So we have four and five. Um, we are all down here. We're going to create a comb filter. We're going to enable it by clicking this little arrow right here. And we're going to bring the frequency all the way down and the resonance up to, I'd say, about 40. Now, in the filter envelope, let's bring the decay and the sustain all the way up and the decay and the sustain all the way up in the amp envelope. All right, so we're going to move over here to the third filter, and we're going to create a format filter. And in this one, we're going to bring our gender up to around, let's say, 80. And we're going to bring the little dot thing right around here to 85, 79, anywhere around there. You're really going to want to play with this yourself because you're going to get a very different sound no matter where this ball is. So whatever sounds best to you. Um, so let's go. This is as far as the synth goes. This is all we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to next go on to distortion, a little EQing, but why don't you take a listen right now? Cool. All right. So right click on this Thor and you're going to go to your creative FX and you're going to create a BV512 digital vocoder. The first thing we're going to do is switch it to equalizer mode and we're going to make it an eight band EQ by selecting the eight band uh, count right down here. Now, to EQ this right, uh, I, what all I did was I brought the second band down a bit, third one even lower, fourth one all, all a little even lower, um, this one going back up kind of like in a diagonal back up so it looks a bit like this. So you want your EQ to look like that. It doesn't have to be exact and it's also to taste. EQ is totally what your ear tells you is good or not good. Uh, take this ship knob and just bring it over to around six just so it gives it a little bit more brightness. Um, next thing we're going to do is right click on this and create our, in our creative, creative effects a Scream 4 distortion unit. Once again, make sure it's the initial patch. You can do that by right clicking and reset device. Uh, make sure that it's on overdrive, which it should be, and bring the damage control to about 82. Leave parameter 1 where it is, but with parameter 2, we're going to bring it up to, I'd say around 78, right around here. So now it should be a little bit more distorted sounding. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Cool, it's a little flat, so what we want to do is we're going to bring out some for the frequencies we do like, and we're going to bring down some that we don't. So the first overall EQ is just going to be very standard. We're going to be bringing up a little bit of the high mid-range. So create an equalizer, select parameter 1, bring the gain up to about, I'd say, maybe 5.7 or even a higher, 6.3. Take that Q and bring it down to around 1.5, so it's really wide. And let's bring our frequency up a little bit, so it's at 1,079. Cool. Now, there are some very ugly frequencies in this as well, so I'm going to create two more equalizers, and I'm just going to sweep out some of the bad frequencies. So bear with me, uh, and also do this on your own. You can do this on your own and sweep out whichever ones you think are bad. I'm just going to sweep out right now the ones I think are bad. So you can follow my lead and see where I do it. But I'm going to start by selecting parameter 1, and I'm going to turn the gain all the way up, the Q all the way to 32, and I'm going to sweep through with this frequency knob until I find a frequency I don't like. And I'm going to do that four times with four different parameters. So if you are not really understanding this sweeping technique, my last tutorial I did was all on sweeping. So go ahead and watch that before you do this section uh, if it's confusing to you. But you can just watch me sweep out some of the frequencies I don't like right now. There's a bad one. Down. Don't want that one. This one. That one's 
not great. Cool. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Creating one more EQ now. I'm gonna do the same thing with parameter one and two. I'm gonna select both of them and sweep out some more frequencies. And there you have it, that's the synth. Now the only thing that you're gonna wanna do to this synth more, so take a look at that, but before I keep going on, look at these EQs, and you can mimic these EQs that I did, or you can do your own, but uh, that's the EQing I swept out of this synth. Um, now I would add a reverb to this and uh, automate the dry wetness of the reverb, that's what I did in the little demo I showed you to create cool reverb effects, but this synth sounds really good with reverb, and uh, I don't know, you might even wanna bring up the highs a little bit on this one, because it sounds pretty good when it's a little bit crispy. Not too much highs, but you know, uh, be safe. So yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys like it. Um, got many more on the way. Have a good day.